Hello and welcome back to Something Phonies at channel. Today we're going to be talking about our voice over internet protocol garage telephone jack. And so we have here is if you if you have already watched the previous video, this is our DMARC and you already know what the DMARC is, what it does, and some of the components of it as I had already previously uh, mentioned. If you have not checked out the video, please uh, feel free to check it out. Now, as you can see here, um, you might notice this uh, private property keep out VoIP jack. So essentially here, this is where the old telephone service came in, out of this jack right here, and into this little RJ11 clip here. From then on, um, as you can see here, there are four conductors. So you can focus in on that. Yep, four gold conductors, and they would be split off into line one and line two. So I took line one or line and line two, and I, and I tested which uh, pair of wires had uh, dial tone on them. As you already know that we backfeed our phone, um, uh, service into one of our old phone kitchen jacks in order to make an internal a telephone loop in the house. Or in other words, we're backfeeding our telephone signal into our old telephone jacks. So essentially I took out the pair that went into here that had dial tone and then afterwards I matched up the colors um, which should be if I take them out. Let's see right there. Um, let's see blue to red and green to green and it's this way because those were the two pairs of wires that originally went into um, these two uh, clips right here and essentially what I had to do was that I had to test you know which two pairs I meshed up to the two pairs here and since I know red is for um, tip eh, sorry since green is for tip and red is for ring I knew that I had a 50-50 chance of being correct. Um, so yeah, just remember, if you have one line, it's going to be red and green, and you'll have to kind of troubleshoot it or figure it out yourself to see which pair matches which pair of wires. And in this case, we can see here that with the cover off, that's what I did. And I installed this a little phone jack right here because I knew that um, this area was our property, and this area is the telephone company's property, as already mentioned in another video. And so I did here is I use this as a spade lug terminal to make things a little easier. Say, for example, if the garage phone went out. Well, I could unhook this phone jack right here and hook up another phone line and see where the trouble was. So um, all in all, a very convenient system. And as you can see here, I have my own little tag, private property, because as previously noted in another video, that is private property because of the demarcation point as demarked by it. So let's go into the garage and see what it looks like from there. Um, oh, and one more thing. Um, you can see the uh, garage phone coming into there. And I drilled a hole, and the only thing separating it, this from the um, actual garage, is a piece of drywall. So very convenient for this purpose. Hello, everybody. And now we're in the garage. So essentially, um, as I previously mentioned, the only thing um, separating our DMARC from the garage is a piece of drywall. As you can see here, I have drilled through the drywall, and then afterwards I have dropped the cable down to near the wall, meets the garage floor, and I've ran it all the way down and back up. And then afterwards I've screwed in a phone jack. It is, it is important to remember to match your wires green to green, red to red, and so forth and so on. You will only need green and red if you have a one-line standard phone. As you can see here, I mounted the phone jack on the wall and I have the phone. 